Well, hey there, everybody. In spirit of virtual tractor shows, this weekend's walk around is going to feature kind of a unique one. Uh, this is what's what's referred to as a Garden Master Model G, built by the Garden All Company in Liberty, Indiana. Garden All is another one, one of those small post World War II small startup companies that that um, um, saw the growth in in um, uh, the Victory Gardens that were becoming very very popular post World War II with uh, 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 I would say a booming economy. Um, what's what's kind of neat historically about Garden All and the Garden Master is the GM of the company, his name was Glenn Healyman, and um, um, he was a relative of Harold Pond, um, a notorious for uh, Pond and Speed Extractors. Um, um, Glenn, Harold, and Harold's brother Elmer, who everybody knows for Wheel Horse, the three of those originally started working for Stanley Shaw at Shaw Dewall in Galesburg, Kansas. And uh, then of course the three individuals went their own way and and uh, put, put their mark on Lawn and Garden Tractor Evolution and a whole lot of history. Um, prior to starting Gardenall or being the GM for Gardenall, Glenn worked for, for his brother-in-law um, because Glenn was married to Harold Pond's sister at SpeedX. And what's really neat when you look at his take on, on a, a truck garden vegetable farm type tractor is there's so many hints of SpeedX. The big one that I noticed on the Model G is this clutch mechanism here. It does not have a conventional clutch. There is a series of four uh, pulleys that, that come off the crankshaft with four V-belts going up to a second series of pulleys in this in this cast tower. So when you put the tractor in here, you actually move the clutch pedal forward, which garden tractor that Garden All built while they started to make uh, walk-behind tractors in 1945. Um, the very first Model G riding tractor came out in late 1950 for 1951 and that's what this one is here. It's a very early example of a G. It's a 1951 model. They were offered with two different engines, either a Wisconsin AEN, which is what my tractor has here, or a Briggs & Stratton Model 23 FB. Um, they had two different models associated to them. If it had the Wisconsin engine like this, it's referred to as a GW. If it had the Briggs engine option, it was referred to as a GB. Also kind of unique, while, while Gardenall um, went to local junkyards repurposing automotive parts, while most of the other man manufacturers were we're finding Ford Model A's and T's, uh, Gardner will actually use Chrysler components. So that's actually a Chrysler Imperial rear end differential that was cut down with uh, low gears added to, and a Chrysler three-speed transmission. Um, the other unique part of the G, I think, is the braking system. It does not have wheel brakes, so to speak. The first ones had a pedal, the later ones had a hand-operated lever that right here, but there was just one band around um, up on the drive shaft or, or going into on the rear depth, so you didn't have individual wheel brakes, you had one brake that, that, that then stopped the output out of the transmission into the rear end. It worked. It definitely worked. The Model G's were intended for, again, you know, truck farms, so crop clearance is what uh, um, the garden master was you know, advertising that uh, they could do better than anybody else and that's why you see that real neat looking uh, high arch uh, front axle and for certain applications oats being being a big one um, there was another a wheel option 
instead of having the conventional 8x16 tires in rear, they also had an option for real narrow uh, 5x21 inch rear wheels as well. Most of those tractors were originally operating a, um, a bean drill. So, so these were built from about 1951 to about 1957. Shortly thereafter, there was a lot of financial hardships within Gardenall, and the Gardenall company ended up being acquired by, at that time, uh, Cecil Pond's company, Wheelhorse. They weren't interested in the tractors, they were more interested in, in uh, the assets, especially the, the building being in such close, close proximity to um, uh, uh, the rest of Wheelhorse. But these days, um, they're not real common tractors. I was looking for a nice example of a G for my collection for quite a while. I'm personally very partial to other Wisconsin engines, so I was looking for a GW. This one uh, became available in Pennsylvania out of, out of another gentleman's collection in, in its current condition. Looks just like it does now, with exception of the decals I added. Huge thanks for my tractor brother Sam Minder for, for getting, the, getting this one bought for me. And then a huge thanks to another good buddy, Pat Polker, who was on a treasury recovery mission out that way anyway, and was kind enough to haul it back here to Wisconsin. So anyway, um, that's this week, 1951 Garden Master GW, built by the Gardenall Company in Liberty, Indiana. Everybody have a great weekend and catch you next time. See ya.